Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. It's the end of May, which means it's time to check out the best Android applications that were released in May of 2014. First up this month is a nifty application called Adapt. This app is what I always envisioned the future of managing contacts to be. Here's how it works. You add someone on Adapt and whenever they update their contact information, their information is automatically updated on your contacts list. The only problem is getting everyone you know to use it, but it is free on iOS and Android, so that may help. Allcast Receiver is an application that allows people to use Allcast to stream their Android devices to other Android devices. Previously, Allcast could only stream to things like Roku, Apple TV, and the Chromecast. All you need to do is install this application on the phone or tablet you wish to stream to, and it will begin appearing on the Allcast list of supported devices. It's free to use, so if you use Allcast, you should also use this. Baldur's Gate is a mammoth RPG with dozens of hours of gameplay. It was originally released in 1998, and some say this helped pave the way for the RPG genre on PCs. It's a little expensive at $10, and there are some add-ons that you can pay more to get, but this is the biggest, longest game available on Android right now. To see more, check out our review linked below. Our next app is a fun little brain teaser with over 200 free levels, colorful graphics, and tablet support. You essentially connect the blocks to one another, but you can only connect each block so many times as denoted by the number inside of the block. It starts out easy and gets progressively harder, and there are additional levels available for purchase if you really like it. The core game is free to play in the Google Play Store. Faces In is a new social network aggregator that uses your GPS location and the GPS check-ins of your friends to alert you when a friend is nearby. If you use Facebook, Foursquare, or other check-in services, you should definitely give Faces In a shot. It's free to use and supports a number of popular social networks with more to come in future updates, and it also has a really nice design. Frequency can only be described as an RSS feed for videos. Using this application, you can subscribe to a number of video channels from a number of sites. This includes proprietary video feeds that don't show up on places like YouTube or Vimeo. It has a nice, somewhat cluttered design, it's free, and if you like internet videos, you should definitely check this one out. Next up is an application that works with Google Camera. It's called Lens Blur Live Wallpaper, and what it does is take the blur photos you took with Google Camera and turn them into a sort of pseudo-parallax live wallpaper for your home screen. It's suffering from a pretty bad bug right now, but we expect it to be fixed pretty soon, and it is free to use, so if you use Google Camera, you should definitely check this one out. Monument Valley is a puzzle game with some astounding design and gameplay. You play as a princess who must find her way through levels that are all based heavily on optical illusions. You can bend, move, twist, or otherwise manipulate levels to get through them, and it is really quite impressive. It's $3.99, which is a tad expensive for only 10 levels, but it rocks a 4.7 rating in the Google Play Store, which is also quite impressive. Peek is a feature that is usually baked into Paranoid Android, but it is now a standalone application that anyone can download and it does not need root. What it does is allow you to view notifications without pressing any buttons. It's the closest you can get to the Moto X lock screen without actually buying a Moto X, and if that's what you're looking for, you should give Peek a try. Quick Click is a nifty application that allows you to program your hardware buttons to perform actions. For instance, you can tap your volume button twice and have it turn on your LED flash to use as a flashlight. It's free to use and comes with a number of functions, so if you've always wanted more out of your hardware buttons, give this one a look. Sunrise Calendar is a brand new application with a gorgeous design. In terms of functionality, it does pretty much everything you'd expect a calendar application to do, and it adds some other fun things like the ability to invite people to events. It isn't compatible with Exchange or tablets yet, but it will be soon. It's free to use and worth a look if you want something a little bit different out of your calendar. Whistle Camera came out this last month, and it's a camera application, which means it does camera application things. The key feature is that it uses the microphone to listen for your whistle. When you whistle, the app counts down and then takes a picture. This is a great tool to use when your hands are otherwise engaged, or if you don't want to move for a selfie. I cannot believe I just said selfie. Anyway, it's free in the Google Play Store right now. Last and certainly not least this month is XCOM. This award-winning PC game was originally released in 2012 and it's now available for Android. It comes with a $10 price tag, but it's as good of a game as I've ever seen on Android. You command a team of troops as you strategically move and fire on alien enemies, hell-bent on your destruction, and it also includes an in-depth upgrades feature. This is as good as it gets, folks. Check it out. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you want to follow Android Authority myself or the rest of the video team, you can find our social media links in the video description below. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, including my review of XCOM as well as my review of Frequency. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion in the video description below for all of the download links. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and have a wonderful day.